Hi, this is Amy, and today I want to show you how to log into and out of your Chrome account. It's really important to understand how this works so that you don't accidentally leave your account logged in somewhere unintentionally. So, when you're using a public computer, you might sit down at that computer and you might want to access your bookmarks, your Chrome apps, all of the stuff that comes with your Chrome browser. So I'm going to log into this Chrome browser and show you what starts to happen and then we'll take a look at that for a minute and then we will make sure that it's wiped off this computer for the next user. So you can see I've typed my email address and my password and now I'll click sign in. And as I do that, things will start to happen to my browser. So I'll start to see applications added. In a minute, if, if we stay here long enough, my theme will change in the background. Um, I'll start to see my bookmarks appear. So I paused my video for just a minute so that you could see things start to come in. So here come my bookmarks. If I click on my Gmail button here, which is one of the apps that I've added. Oh, here they all come. So see how these are my extensions. Extensions are these little programs that run right up here in the top right. So each one of them is going to open a tab as it installs. So it's, it's, there's my theme just came in. There are my apps all coming in. So when I log into Chrome, I'm getting all of this data on this computer. So if I walk away from this, and somebody else comes and opens up this profile on this computer, they really have access to a lot of my stuff. And I'm going to tell you a scary story here to try to keep you from doing this, to try to save you lots of headaches later on. So I know a teacher, I talked to him last week, and uh, what happened to him was he was really upset because all of his bookmarks had disappeared off Chrome, all of his apps were gone, and you know we made sure he's logged in, he's logged in, but all of his stuff is gone. Well, what had happened is that he went into a computer lab used by students and he sat down at Chrome. He thought he just logged into Gmail, but he didn't. It's kind of tricky sometimes because you're, you're sort of prompted over and over again. Do you want to log into Chrome? Do you want to log into Chrome? Well, he had inadvert inadvertently logged into Chrome. He gets up, he walks away from his computer, and he forgets all about it. Then later on, he notices that Chrome keeps changing for him. Things keep going away. All of his bookmarks disappear. All of his apps disappear. Well, what had happened is he left his account logged in. See how I'm logged in. You can tell there's my email address in the top right. And a person who sat down behind him thought, well, I'll fix this for him. So they right-clicked on each of his apps, and they removed from Chrome. And they went to each of his bookmarks and they removed from Chrome. Well, every time they did that, all of the stuff on his browser is disappearing because it doesn't know. It thinks he's sitting down there logged in. So let's look at what we can do. What we want to do when we walk away from Chrome, before we walk away from Chrome, we don't have to do all of this, oh, click on my name and sign out and all that kind of stuff. It's really easy if you know what to do. So here's what we do. I'm going to move this over so you can see the menu. So these three little stripes up here, this is our menu. And what we're going to do is go into settings. So those things, we're going to call them the hot dogs. Those are the hot dogs up there. See, there are three hot dogs sitting there. And we're going to scroll down. And on yours, it's going to be even easier than mine is. You're just going to have one user there. This is it right here. And you're going to click the X or you'll see a mark right underneath there where it says delete the current user if you only have one. So you're going to delete the user. Don't worry that your stuff is going to be gone. It's not going to be gone. You are just deleting the user off this computer. You can see how I have multiple users on my computer. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So I'm going to delete this user. Are you sure you want to delete Lemonade? That was the default name of this user. Cannot be undone. It sounds so scary, but it's okay. Delete. That account's gone. This is another account I'm logged into. Let's add it back again. So I'm going to add a new user again. And this time, look, it's Moonbeam. They're kind of funny. So there we go. Here's a brand new, fresh Chrome account. And I'm going to log back in again. And you'll see that all of my stuff now is going to start syncing back again to this computer. So I don't lose anything when I delete that except the ability of somebody else to come along behind me and delete all my stuff or change everything. So when you're at your regular computer, your computer at your desk, you don't have to worry about this. You're always going to be logged into Chrome. You're going to lock your computer when you walk away from it just like you always do. 
but no worries. But when you go to a public computer, let's pretend you go to the library or you come to technology for a staff development, that's when you have to worry about this. And that's when you feel perfectly fine about logging in. And when you get done, you go to your hot dogs, down to settings. You scroll down. And whatever account you've left on that computer before you walk away from it, you just click the X and delete or hit delete current user. And see that other account is gone. And I'm left with the account that I had running in the background. So I hope that helps and um, saves you a lot of trouble later on. Uh, that's how to delete a user in Chrome. Thanks and have a good day.